While retreating after parting ways with Lightning, Vaughn straight from his friends. It's part 2 now, with chapter 2 I mean, with Vaughn. He is nearby a lake in the mountains, looking for a way back to Sanctuary. Should it just be he's near a lake in the mountains? I mean, English. Yeah. Alright, let's let's do my generic voice. <laughs> oh man. I'll pass back to Sanctuary and blocked. And I've lost out of the others too. Guess I better find my way back. Character control has changed. Blah blah blah. All characters can equip the same item. Doesn't matter. So, there's no And those are the fields, just basically uh, random encounters that you can hit. So Vaughn's different. Vaughn's, Vaughn's got a bunch of weapons, so now he's got a katana. If I hit a katana button, you can just do an attack. So if I hit another one, it just is uh, the broadsword. See? So throw the broadsword, and then you can hit the circle again. It's a different attack. Bang! That's the rifle. So in the air, I've got the crossbow, which missed, uh, the staff, and shield and uh, shield and sword. And he's got decently strong HP attacks, but he's just really, really bland as a character. You should have run when you had the chance. I still don't like him as a character, not not the slightest. Anyway, I am still looking forward to the uh, the Zodiac collection though. Okay, that's not the way. There it is. Boy, boy, boy. So the white ones are basically optional dungeons that you can just rerun through. But what we want to do is just progress the story. A encounter and treason. Oh. Ugh. No one's here either. Guess I have to make my way through here alone. Should check my equipment first. Wonder if there's something at the shop. I don't need to check the shop because I'm not equipping anything. Anyway, two fights. See what are you? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> you just step on the floor, causing this and miss quickly. Man. Yep. So that's Vaughn, all right. He's just. He's just a very, very solid character. You should have run when you had the chance. Very fun to play. And, you know, I love that he doesn't have painted, like, painted on abs in this one. Like he did it in 12. Like his abs are really, really painted on it. They look really weird. Save your EX gauge. They, uh... They go... I'm trying to find the word here, but... They maintain throughout one from one fight to the other. Won't laugh if you run. Oh, so this. And there's this. Bring it down. Torrent. Torrent is the best one because it tracks and it's a piece of shit to deal with. You should have run when you had the chance. Anyway. Alright, here we go. Someone's over there. Must destroy, must destroy. Enemy destroy. Ah! Ah! He says. Alright. Really supposed to fight this girl? If I have to fight, 
shit. Yeah. What he said. So the little chocobo means it's experience boost day, even though it doesn't really matter. Master Striker. S stop it already. Don't don't be a pain. I don't plan to be beat. There we go. No, destroy. Gah. And she flew away. Damn it. She flew away. And escaped my path. My grass. Shit. Anyway. Anyway. An enemy, huh? You are cosmos and chaos anyway. Oh well. I got returned to sanctuary. Uh, behind a large snowy mountain. What's this thing? I think, it, I think rolling might be faster than actually walking. Sure. Let's win by 90 seconds in this gateway. Whatever. The gold ga gateway. Oh, it's a tough enemy. Eh. Don't need that chest. Teaching me about free air dash. Alright. Fight. Fight on. Literally wrecked it one more. That is the difference of 98 levels. You should have run when you had the chance. I love it though, I love it. Wait, imagine it's like. It's like you are. Um... Oh fuck! I didn't mean to fight. It's like, it's like the enemy encountered a very strong you instead of you encountering very strong enemy. You should have run when you had the chance. There we go. So the five protagonists that were introduced in 012, I think they're all right. I mean, sure they introduced both Vaughn and Lightning, which are, <laughs> which are the blandest characters in Final Fantasy protagonist history. But, you know, Tifa, Laguna, uh, Kane School. Anywho. Oh, you crack me up. Don't want to fight, she says. Who are you? And what did you do to the girl who was having such a blast beating the pulp out of people? I didn't. I don't. Huh? That's that girl. Listen, you're a vicious beast. With vicious power meant for mayhem and destruction. Now tell me, how is a person like that going to decide she doesn't want to fight? You better straighten up, Missy, or I'll have to teach you a lesson. Please don't. It seems like they're arguing with each other. Yeah, I think I'd better keep out of it. All right. So much for Mr. Nice, Kefka. Sorry, I only hurt you because you make me. Uh. Hey, leave her alone. Who? What? When? Where? Why? Can't you see when someone's busy? Run along and play now. I'll say it again, just in case you didn't hear me the first time. Leave that girl alone. Right. In that case, play dead. What a great line. In that case, play dead. Kefka's so cool. You're about to learn why oppose rhymes with dispose. Always happy to take out the trash. Anyway. Bang. Inconceivable. There we go. Let's get rid of you. 
I love every single Captain Sid, by the way. You should have run when you had the chance. Sure, he's kind of like a Jokerish character, but you know, he's cool. And here I thought you were just another prepubescent pretty boy. Incredible! That's the most fun I've had in minutes. Huh? Hey, snap out of it! We gotta go. Hmm? We'll finish this next time. For now, I'm just gonna take the girl. Catch you later. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Wait, you do you what? Well, fine. You just go on and take her with you then. After all, she always comes running straight back into my arms anyway. What do I care? Go on, scram! Cheeky brat, that one. Thinks he can just waltz in and cart off anybody he pleases. Who does he think he is? Never even got a chance to say I wasn't sorry. Cleared. Man, Kafka's cool. And that scene's just great, isn't it? He just walks away mumbling to himself like, what a piece of shit. You tired? Come on, he just needs to go a little farther. But, eh, worry about the shit later. Let's run as fast, as much as we can now. Basically, if you hit someone on the whole map, their bravery points go to gold. That's where we need to go. To that big old evil over there. for a PSP game. Very impressive. I think this was the uh, one of the few games that was pushed the PSP to the limit. Like a Peace Walker. You know, Peace Walker was quite good. Oh. This should be far enough away they won't find us. Oh, hey, I'm Vaughn. And you are? Oh. Okay. You're one of Cosmos's warriors. Hmm? Uh, yeah, I am. Then please, kill me. Huh? I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to hurt people or destroy things anymore. So please! Couldn't you just stop fighting and not use your powers? I mean, that's got to be better than the alternative. What do you mean? I'm... You're my enemy, aren't you? People are people, aren't they? It doesn't matter what side you're on. Oh. Back there, it, uh, it looked like you were in trouble. So I did what I thought was right and got you out. I mean, I knew you were on the other side, but what difference does that make, you know? You don't care? Nah, not really. It doesn't change anything, does it? What does you being in trouble have to do with Chaos or Cosmos? Well, I mean, we're both soldiers. And we were summoned here to fight. Okay, sure. We were summoned here to fight. But that doesn't mean I'm just gonna throw away what I believe in. I decided to help you because that's what I wanted to do. And I have no intention of hurting you. That's not me. <laughs> Listen, don't think about things so hard, all right? You don't want to end up just doing whatever people tell you to, do you? Don't do what people tell you to. Here I am. Anyway, it looks like it's this way. Yeah, but so now you get a uh, terror as an assist. That's cool. Won't laugh if you run. Chop ya! There we go. Great combo. Terror knocks him into the wall, 
and I punch him in the face. So good. You should have run when you had the chance. And of course, Vaughn being a little bitch. I can steal EX cores before the mannequins get to them. Cool, huh? Yeah, whatever. I got that. I mean, that's the end of the line, so. Uh, should be another mannequin fight. Keep up. Bring it down. In terms of just uh, fighting normally, though, Vaughn does not have any um, any bravery attack. Elite to a HP one. You should have run when you had the chance. Because his HP attacks are really, really strong. Anyway, here we go. Chasing an enemy after knocking into them. Yeah, it just feels so cool. Like flying through the air. It's like I can cut wind. You know what I mean? No. Yeah, the uh, this game is this game's got plenty of character models actually. A lot of DLC costumes. Bring <laughs> down. They would try to make it difficult for me there. Anyway, not a problem. You should have run when you had the chance. Not a problem at all. There we go. That's the stage as well. Three KP. You're different from me. You're strong. can make your own decisions. You already have. You don't want to fight. My own... decisions. This battle's gonna be over before you know it. And I can already tell you Cosmos is gonna be the winner. Once Chaos is out of the picture, things ought to settle down a little bit. Then we'll all be able to go home, right? Go somewhere safe and hide out until all this is over. Somewhere where you won't have to fight. What? I'll come and find you before we go to fight Chaos. Then, you can come back to see Cosmos with the rest of us. To see... Cosmos? Yeah. If you become one of her warriors, you should be able to go back to wherever you came from too. Oh. Anyway, I better get going. I've still got some fighting left to do. Find somewhere to lay low. I'll be back for you. Fun. Yeah? What is it? My name's... Tara. Tara? Nice to meet you, Tara. <laughs> 